BCI has been so successful under Jeff's leadership because he truly cares about the clients and the families that we work with. In addition to that, he really values his staff. BCI has been so successful under Jeff's leadership because of his, he's passionate about working with kids. That's something that uh, he, he's always uh, been very outward about. Dr. Robinson has had a way of, I won't say predicting the future, but looking at the big picture. He's made some investments, so to speak, uh, at the right time, the right moment, the right place, and it's really paid off. Jeff has made an impact with individuals in our community with autism by simply seeing the need for services. Way back when, when we were working in the Worcester Public School System, Jeff saw that there was a need for more ABA services that went beyond what the public school could provide for families. And today, we're spread out across the state, providing not just in-home services, but we're in the community. We have a center-based program. We're working in early intervention. Jeff's done so much to impact individuals with autism, not just in our community, but across the state. What I've learned from Jeff over the years uh, has been immense. He's been uh, my mentor uh, since I worked, started working for, for BCI and, and learning how to lead a company, how to work with, with people, how to have a very flat organization the way he, he runs it with the door always open to all individuals. And it's very important to me um, to continue that and, and that, that really came from Jeff. You talk about what BCI will miss the most in terms of Dr. Robinson and, and BCI. You think of, you know, leadership. You think about, you know, legacy. You think about a man who started something really small and ended up with a, a huge company off of, you know, his work ethic and his desire and you know, to help children and families. Is Jeff the best grandpa in the office? Well, if his office is any indication to that, I would definitely have to agree.